Good morning. Shall we pray together? Lord God Almighty, you are the one true God and Lord of all. O Heavenly Father, we give you the glory that is due to your name, for there is no other God. You are King of Kings, Lord of Lords, our Creator, our Redeemer. And we are so blessed that we can say, Abba, Father, that we are children of the living God. O Heavenly Father, we thank you for answered prayers. We thank you for all those who have been making journeys and have arrived safely. We thank you, Lord, for the goodness and kindness that we have seen when people share with one another. We thank you that our church is your family, Lord, in this place. O oh, Heavenly Father, we ask that you would have your hand on the frontline workers as the COVID-19 virus is becoming more active. We thank you for their dedicated work over the months, Lord, where they've made personal sacrifices to nurse and help those in need. Thank you, Lord, for all who've been involved with their care. We thank you for the cooks and the cleaners, the security men and the porters, all that work at these hospitals. And we thank you for the ambulance crews that work so hard, sometimes in dangerous situations. We think of our police force, Lord. We ask that you would give them wisdom and insight as there seems to be an increase in violence and rage and intolerance just now. Oh Lord, we see throughout the world people warring to get what they want, corruption and evil, overruling goodness. And we ask, Father God, that you would bring governments into place in each country to work for the good of the nation and not for themselves. Father, we thank you for the beauty of this world you have given us and we ask your forgiveness, Lord, when we are careless with what you have provided. Help us, Lord, not to carelessly throw away plastic and other things that can contaminate the oceans. Help us, Lord, to speak out when we see your landscape being ruined for money. Oh Lord, we've seen tragedies happen in recent days. We pray for all the people that have been made homeless by the fires in the refugee camp in California and other places. We think of flooding due to storms. We think of so many things happening, Father, where people have become homeless, where they have lost all that they possessed. And we just pray that you will show us how we can come alongside them and give them aid. We do thank you for the rescue and aid workers that tirelessly work among the rubble trying to save lives. We pray for the Lebanon, Lord. We look at Beirut, a shattered city, and we just pray that out of the brokenness and ashes of this city, something beautiful will come. O oh, Heavenly Father, would you have your hand upon those who've lost their jobs, who are probably concerned as to what the future holds. We pray for the those without work, the homeless and the hungry. O oh, Father, we know that you have given enough in the world for every person to be fed. Help us all to remember the poor and those in need. Help us to give of our money, our time and our talents. Lord, may we show Jesus to the people round and about us. Father God, we thank you for our families and friends. Some loved ones are far away in different countries. And we just ask, Father, that you would protect them and keep them safe. 
We thank you, Lord, for our elderly family members being cared for in, in the many care homes. And we thank you for the workers there that are understanding and helping. Oh dear Lord, as our children return to school, would you please protect them and keep them safe? Give teachers wisdom. We pray, Lord, that love will abound throughout the nations, in schools, in homes, in refugee camps. Oh, Father God, there is so much need. We pray that you will pour out your Holy Spirit. Lord, send revival. May people come to their knees and get up ready to help their fellow neighbours and friends. Dear Lord, we pray for our fellowship here in Benita Chell. We thank you, Father, that you have made us a family. We thank you for the love that we share one for another. And we ask, Father, that we might be in the centre of your will, that we might be obedient to you. Oh Lord, we want you to be glorified in this place. Bind us together in your love. Lord, we spare a moment to think of those who lost loved ones in recent days. Would you comfort them, Lord? Those that are sick and suffering from serious illnesses, would you have your hand on them, Father? Father God, we know that we can never out-ask more than you're able to give. We thank you that your love and your blessings flow down. We thank you, Father, that you hear and answer prayer according to what is best for each one of us. And we ask now, Lord, that as we listen to your words, that our hearts, our minds, and our ears will be open to what you have for each one of us, that your will may be done, that you may be glorified now and forever, Lord. We ask these things in Jesus' most precious name. Amen. Enjoy the service.